Niger has just agreed to supply Mali, which is a sister country in the three-member West African alliance, with 150 million liters of diesel, at a relatively lower cost over the next 12 months. And we are here to show you how Brigadier General Abdurrahmani Chiani is helping his Malian and Burkina counterparts tackle the energy crisis. The head of the Junta of Mali, Colonel Asemi Goita, received today the Minister of Nigerian Petroleum, Mahaman Mustafa, to finalize a partnership agreement for the sale of 150 million liters of gasoline in Mali declared the Malian presidency in a press release this fuels will be destined for the energy of Mali to supply the country's various power stations back as said in a press release a week after making public that commitment an announcement was made at the Malian presidential palace on April 16th that over the next 12 months Mali will be supplied with relatively cheap diesel by Niger in a move that will ease the shortages that Malians have been witnessing. Making the announcement was Niger's Minister of Oil, Mines and Energy, Mr. Mohamed Mustafa Barke, who had paid President Asimi Goita a courtesy visit on the same day. The Nigerian envoy also revealed that Niger had initiated steps to build a new oil refinery that will solely be dedicated to refining petroleum products to exclusively cater for the energy needs of Mali, Niger and Burkina Faso, which are the three members of the Alliance of Sahel States. And without saying much, this is what he had to say in a media briefing, as he made public, the new marketing contract between the two countries. We conveyed the greetings of his brother and friend, Brigadier General Abdurrahmani Chiani, President of the National Council for the Protection of the Homeland, and to whom we also took stock of the situation because last year we had already signed a contract which had many difficulties in its execution and therefore it was necessary that we identify those difficulties that we had last time and work on how to avoid them now. And sir, we presented to His Excellency the Head of State the solutions that we are considering so that this time things go well. The Head of State asked us to convey these thanks to the Head of State of Niger and provided us with advice in the context of strengthening this cooperation which strengthens cohesion between the two populations. Since presidential directives for the proper execution of the first contract encountered difficulties, the first agreement is therefore revised and improved by 22 million litres, and delivery was increased to 150 million litres of diesel in this second marketing contract. The first quantities will obviously arrive in the coming weeks. There are all the logistics that need to be put in place, and that is the aim of the team which is currently working. All the logistics will be put in place so that things actually happen very quickly and that this is reflected in the supply of energy. President Chiani quickly asked to set up a new refinery which will be located approximately 139 kilometers from Niamey. This further reduces the distance to be covered and this refinery, the new one that we are going to set up, will be clearly dedicated to supplying the AES countries, whether it's diesel, jet, or all the other products. That is what the refinery will be dedicated to, and I inform the head of state, who is very satisfied with it, that the terms of reference are ready, and upon my return to Niger, we will move forward on this project there. This is a consolidation of achievements and progress that complements other AES projects. The head of state said we need, wherever we can synergize our efforts, to facilitate things between us, we can do that. And where we can also use external influence, we do it. And sir, that is why we have to strengthen our relationships, because you know, in the situation we are in, solidarity for these AES countries is not an option, it is an obligation. The three AES nations have clear and precise objectives to fight against terrorism. This contract is a very good development, is a good one in a good direction. This will strengthen the ties between these countries and will help alleviate the suffering 
of our population in terms of access to petroleum products, like he rightly said. Thank you very much for your time again. I hope to see you in my next as I bring you away again more trending news. Bye.